Antibiotics are miracle drugs that have saved millions of lives. But their misuse and overuse is having some dangerous consequences. It's creating antibiotic resistant bacteria that have spread from hospitals into our communities. Consumer Reports calls the rise of the superbug a major crisis of our times and says we all have a role to play in stopping them. Zachary had just finished a doubleheader baseball game when his mother says he started to cry. I said, what's the matter? And he said, my knee hurts, I have a headache, and I'm dizzy. Zachary's condition worsened overnight and quickly escalated. Doctors gave him an antibiotic, but it didn't work. The infection raced through his body, almost killing him. A year later, Zachary still walks with a limp. Zachary had been infected with MRSA, one of a growing number of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. They infect at least 2 million people a year in the U.S. and kill 23,000. When people are sick, they expect and deserve medications that work. But the unrestrained use of antibiotics is creating superbugs that undermine the very drugs we rely on to fight infections. The problem, not all infections can be cured by an antibiotic. The misuse and overuse in people, livestock, poultry, and farm seafood has led to mutations of bacteria that are now resistant to once effective drugs. Doctors and consumers are part of the problem. We use antibiotics even when they won't work, like for a cold or the flu. And sometimes we're the ones who insist on using them. In fact, a Consumer Report survey found one in five people who got an antibiotic asked their doctor to prescribe it. Zachary's mother, who is a family doctor, sees the problem firsthand. I have a patient who's really pushing. Sometimes I'll say to them, I'm like, you're fighting with the wrong doctor. You have no idea from where I come now. This overprescribing almost killed my son. Consumer Reports is spearheading a program to educate both patients and doctors about when antibiotics are needed and when they're not.